Guns, body armor, masks, and more seized from a Clay County vehicle during a stop. Officers there believe this arrest may have prevented a violent crime. As Action News Jack's Russell Colburn reports, they're working to learn if the suspect had sinister plans. Orange Park Police says this man was stopped here near Gano Avenue and Grove Park Drive. And take a look at this. This is just steps away from a local park and playground where children play every day. Staff at the Kids Clubhouse Daycare takes their kids to Gano Park almost every day, but they were shocked to learn about this stop made by officers. That's scary. Very scary. Especially it's a, since it's so, so close to a park, somewhere where kids should feel safe, but they don't, and you can't. Police say pictured here, two guns with ammo, ski masks and gloves, body armor, and brass knuckles. Officers also say they seized drugs and arrested 20-year-old Jordan Edwards. He could have done anything. I mean, there's kids out here, and obviously these are the only kids that come here, so, yeah, it makes you a little nervous. Police say neither Edwards nor his passenger, who wasn't arrested, would say where they got the guns, but that Edwards does not have a permit for them. A police department representative told me, quote, anyone riding around with these things in combination is a potential risk to the public. I asked if Edwards may have been part of a larger group or gang and planning an attack and was told, quote, not that we're aware of at this time, but certainly something we are looking into. So for now, this daycare will likely make changes. Maybe we should take them to a different park. <laughs> It's a little close, so. I asked, and officers did confirm to me that they notified other surrounding agencies about the possible threat. In Orange Park, Russell Colburn, CBS 47 Action News, Jax.